Good evening from Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center. As we go on the air, you are looking live at the passageway between the Harmony module of the International Space Station and the connecting tunnel leading to the SpaceX Dragon Freedom that is housed at the moment on the zenith or space-facing side of the Harmony module. It is through that passageway that NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore along with NASA astronaut Nick Haig, the Dragon commander, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov will be floating through a short time from now, closing the hatch behind them and making final preparations for their undocking from the International Space Station that is scheduled at 12.05 a.m. Central Time, 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time, the home stretch for Williams and Wilmore to complete an extended nine-and-a-half-month mission in space. Nick Haig, the uh, commander of uh, the Dragon Freedom, uh, floating through the uh, hatchway. Uh, we will uh, see uh, Williams and Wilmore shortly as they uh, are completing uh, their uh, suit-up uh, activities. The final suit-up uh, will take place once the four crew members are inside Dragon and the hatch is closed between Dragon and the International Space Station. The station hatch on that side of the docking interface will be closed after the Dragon hatch is closed. On your screen, uh, stowing uh, some last-minute items uh, aboard uh, the Dragon spacecraft that he is commanding uh, from undocking through splashdown. And you see at the hatchway the uh, four departing Crew-9 crew members posing for some final photos. Final handshakes and hugs between uh, the departing Crew-9 crew members. And now inside Dragon, you see uh, Butch Wilmore on the far left in the center of your screen, Alexander Gorbanov, Nick Haig on the far right. They will uh, settle into their respective seats aboard Freedom as countdown clocks here in Mission Control are ticking backward toward the time of the command to initiate the opening of hooks holding Freedom to its docking port on the space-facing side of the Harmony module. That command uh, to be issued about an hour and 55 minutes from now. The actual physical separation, what we uh, peg as undocking for the history books, is scheduled at 12.05 a.m. Central, 1.05 a.m. Eastern. The uh, hatch uh, between uh, the International Space Station and pressurized mating adapter number two is now closed. The Dragon hatch was closed at 10.05 p.m. Central Time, 11.05 p.m. Eastern Time. Just about two minutes ago at uh, 10.26 Central, 11.26 p.m. Eastern, the station hatch also closed. And that sets the stage for uh, the vestibule depressurization and final leak checks at the docking interface. Visors are down and we are go for undocking at the plan time. SpaceX copies, crew are configured for undock. And so that was the voice of NASA astronaut Nick Haig, who is the commander of Dragon, uh, giving the confirmation that they heard the go. So good news. We are continuing to progress down the timeline today for an undocking at 10.05 p.m. Pacific time uh, here in Hawthorne. Freedom, SpaceX on the big loop, undock sequence commanded. And right on schedule, we've got confirmation of that undocking sequence command. Freedom copies. All hooks open. All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Apart Wilmore begin their belated trip Dragon home. Separation confirmed. Undocking occurring right on time at 12.05 a.m. Central Time, 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Good opening rate reported by the visiting vehicle officer.
Dragon's attitude control system functioning as advertised. Peace and freedom on the big loop. On behalf of 3-9, I'd like to say it was a privilege to call station home, to live and work and be a part of a mission and a team that spans the globe working together in cooperation for the benefit of humanity. To our colleagues and dear friends who remain on the station, Alex, and Vapor Top Grill, we know the station's in great hands. We're excited to see what you guys are going to accomplish, and we'll be waiting for you. Green Iron's going home. Right there, have our first view of Dragon Freedom coming home to Earth. And that view is from the WB-57, which is one of NASA's high-altitude planes that is tracking. Um, now, because of the way that this uh, camera is configured, it does look like it is uh, dark, but it is indeed daytime, and you're beginning to see that plasma trail as uh, Dragon re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. All of that is expected. We are uh, anticipating an acquisition of signal around 2.51 p.m. Pacific time, so just minutes from now, and you may hear the core begin to hail out um, or call Dragon uh, for communications and see if we can potentially get communications with them a little bit earlier. Following this, we'll have two events in rapid succession. We'll have the Drogue parachutes deploy at 2.53 p.m. Pacific, followed by the mains just one minute later at 2.54 p.m. Pacific time, ahead of a splashdown at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Freedom, SpaceX, ComCheck. All right, we're going to start hearing uh, the SpaceX crew operations research, resource engineer. SpaceX, Freedom is with you. 4.6 feet, enjoying the ride. Copy that, Freedom. Great news there from Commander Nick Haig reporting back. We see a healthy flight computer. Expect automated shoot deployment. 15 kilometers, brace for drogue window. We can see seat rotation happening inside the capsule. Great to get those first views of our crew members. Once again, the capsules are going about 350 miles per hour when the drogues are deployed. Um, those drogue parachutes that we manufacture here in-house are uh, going to slow the, the, the spacecraft down to 119 miles per hour. And that is when we will see the main parachutes deploy, and that occurs about 6,000 feet above the ocean's surface. And we are expecting drogue deployment at 2.53 p.m. Pacific, so we should see it any second now. And there you are getting a great view of Crew-9 inside Dragon Freedom. As it returns back to Earth, we are awaiting the drogue deploys. This view coming from the WB-57 high-altitude plane. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. Drogue descent rate nominal. You can hear the crowd here. Visual on two healthy drogues. The crowd here very excited as Dragon Freedom continues to make its way back to planet Earth. Next up, we'll stand by for the main deployment of the parachutes. The mains are quite a bit larger. You'll be able to notice the difference on your screen once they deploy, and they continue to ensure that the Dragon uh, spacecraft slows down even further. As we mentioned, Freedom will be traveling 16 miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy mains. That view was from inside. Freedom copy. That view is from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located. So we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes. And as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully, four beautiful, healthy mains. Now awaiting visuals of splashdown. Thanks, Freedom. Thousand. We'll start to hear Commander Nick Haig. Copy, 1,000. As we heard right there, Commander Nick Haig will be calling out the altitude of the Dragon capsule from here on out. 
Landing in water is simpler and provides more margin against unlikely parachute issues. You can see those, uh, those parachutes continuing to slow the Dragon capsule down. And if you're just joining us, you're looking at 800 meters. A live view of Crew 9, just minutes away from splashing down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Splash down two minutes from now at 2.57 p.m. Pacific. We do have four healthy mains really doing the job there. Just breathtaking views of a calm, glass-like ocean off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down. And splash down, Crew 9 back on Earth. And SpaceX Freedom, splash down. Good main release. Copy, splash down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. It is, uh, it is an amazing thing. What a ride. I see a capsule full of grins ear to ear. Obviously, they're, they're getting quick assists from the honorary part of the recovery team, those dolphins <laughs> uh, in the water there. Now, the, the recovery crew mem team member that is crawling around the Dragon spacecraft. Uh, earlier, we saw a view where it was like a spider monkey pose. Um, we can see that individual now standing in the bucket where the main parachutes were stored while Dragon was on orbit. Obviously, those main parachutes were utilized for splashdown today. Uh, they were deployed and cut from the Dragon capsule, uh, and one of the fast boats, in the, uh, one of the other fast boats of the recovery team, working to pull those out of the water. And there we do see Crew Nine, some happy waves, smiles all around, back on Earth. We can see folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew 9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. And of course, that leaves NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore inside Dragon in seat four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore.